Hi friends, Miss Ellen here with Lighthearted Learning. I hope you're doing well. Today I have a patriotic song in the form of a storybook for you today. And it's called America the Beautiful. And it's by Robert Sabuda. Actually, he's the one who did this in pop-up form that you're going to see is very fancy pop-up book. And I really like Robert. He makes some really fancy pop-up books. But this is a song. And we are going to sing this song, but not till the end. First, we're going to talk about the word patriotic. All right? So, patriotic is a four-syllable word, patriotic. And it means having or expressing devotion to and vigorous support for one's country. That means that you love the country you're from and you support, you support it. You show that by, as an adult, voting or as a child saying the Pledge of Allegiance or doing other things that show that you are a patriot, that you are someone who supports your country. And in my case, it's the United States of America. So. If you like this book and you're interested in more patriotic symbols, Miss Ellen has done a bunch of other videos involving American symbols. So you might want to check those out. The American flag, Lady Liberty, okay, a couple others, White House. Okay, but let's go. So I am first going to show you the national landmarks that are in here because Robert Sabuda has put many landmarks in here that you might recognize. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to read the song and then I'll sing the song at the end. Okay? So it goes like this. Oh beautiful for spacious skies. Now this first one is the Golden Gate Bridge. And the Golden Gate Bridge is in San Francisco. And it looks like this, and it actually is this orange color. And you can see the boats in the uh, under, zipping around around the bridge. That's the Golden Gate Bridge, boys and girls. You might recognize that. Now the next one says, for amber waves of grain. And this is some farmland on a great plain. Now a plain is a flatter area of land. And you can see the farm is right here, the barn and the animals and whatnot. But the amber waves of grain is referring to all of these crops that are planted out front here. Amber is just a golden colored. So this is golden colored, either wheat, barley, corn, a grain. Okay, so that's what that means for amber waves. And you can see it almost looks like waves, like in the ocean of green. See, on a farm. Wow, that was pretty cool. And did you see the windmill? <laughs> okay, let's look at the next one. This one says, for purple mountains majesty. And this is Mount Rushmore. Okay, here's an actual picture of Mount Rushmore. This is what Mount Rushmore looks like in actuality. And that's Robert's representation of it. And what that is, is a carving out of a mountains of the Black Hills region of South Dakota. And it has four major presidents on it from the past. So this first one is George Washington, and then Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. And you can go see those if you ever go to South Dakota. So it's in the Black Hills regions. And that's what this is representing right here. I think you did a good job. <laughs> All right, so the next one says, above the fruited plains, above the fruited plain. And this is Mer Mesa Verde. Now you might not recognize this one. So I'm gonna show you, oops, I'm gonna show you an actual picture of this one too. But look at all the ladders and the little uh, buildings that are built. And they're act actually carved out of a hillside, a mountainous area. And this is in Colorado. It's Mesa Veda, 
Verde, and it's a national park. And what it is, is it's an ancient Indian area that Native American Indians lived in Mesa Verde many, many hundreds of years ago. And uh, they no longer live there, but you can visit it and see this cool area that they built and dug out of the mountainside. My son actually went to see it. So that's what this is representing <coughs> in the picture right here. Mesa Verde. Okay. This one says, America, America, God shed his grace on thee. And this is a Mississippi River boat. See that? And it's in the, on the Mississippi, going down the Mississippi River. And the Mississippi River is a major uh, river in the United States of America, going all the way from the north to the south. And crown thy good with brotherhood. Now this is the Capitol building, which if, has been very important lately because this is where the lawmakers of our land make the laws and the decisions in the Capitol building. There are also a couple other important landmarks on here. This is the Washington Monument with a reflecting pool. Many important things have taken place there. And this is the Lincoln Memorial Building that's on the Capitol grounds as well. See that? Wow, that's a pretty cool one. Okay, the Capitol, Washington Monument, Lincoln Memorial. And from sea to shining sea. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you'll recognize this one. Her torch doesn't like to stand up real straight here. But this is Lady Liberty. And she's in the harbor, the New York Harbor, near New Jersey and New York. And there she is in the harbor. Now there's a little book here that talks about the rest of the parts of the, this um, song, because there's many other parts to this song. There's more verses. There's a Liberty Bell for you. So if you're interested, you might want to check this book out because there's more to this book than the parts that I'm telling you right now. All right, my friends, now we're going to sing that patriotic song. Now remember, patriotic song has to do with loyalty to your country. Okay, representing doing the things for your country that are good for your country. So this one's called America the Beautiful. And it goes like this. And that's the book, song that was in the book. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of gray, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain. America, America, God shall grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. All right, friends, that was America the Beautiful. Okay, I hope you learned the word patriotic and I hope you learned about some really interesting United States of America landmarks. See you next time.